كم واحد فاكر وعد الرب لينا سنة 2017 حد فاكر سوف ترى أعظم من هذا هللويا و في بداية السنة أول شهر يمكن شاركت مع حضراتكم كان نزول كان مؤتمر في بيت لحم في الأراضي المقدسة وعلى طول شفت زي الرب عمل أمور عظيمة كان في تحقيق الوعد من سوف ترى أعظم من هذا وكنت فيري اكسايتد لغاية من تقريبا أسبوع فات بقيت اكسايتد أكتر وأكتر لانه يعني حسيت انه قبل كده انه خلاص يعني شفت ان الوعد بيتحقق وكده و ذاتس جود لكن كل ما ده بنكتشف صلاح الرب واللي على قلبه امور اكتر واكتر واكتر و الوقت اللي فات في المجموعه في مجموعه كنت شاركت مع حضراتكم كنا بنصلي لهم كلنا مجموعه بتاعت راحت من اليوث للبرازيل حسيت انه الوعد ده مش اتحقق بس ده كانه انفجر فانا اكشلي هطلب منهم انهم ييجوا كده قدام هيشاركونا بالانجليزي شويه اللي ربنا يحطها على قلبهم حاجات مختصره هم رجعوا من البرازيل محملين واون فاير ربنا يعمل فيهم سا سو ال اسك يو جايز تو كام فورورد اند شير شير وذ ذا تشيرش هلو Um, yeah, we just got back from Brazil and it was definitely life-changing. Uh, we saw so many miracles and God moved in, in such amazing ways um, from the first night we were there. Um, I don't think any of us were expecting as much as we saw. And so the first day, this is just personally speaking right now, the first day we had a training and um, in the evening we were going to go with one of the preachers um, and after the preaching is done we would pray for the sick. And I had no idea. And when they told us this, I was like, oh my goodness, what? We're going to start praying already for people? And I thought we were going to have the full week of training and then go out. Um, but that was actually the first day was the, fir- was the first time I saw such a great miracle. Um, a young guy approached me and said that he couldn't hear properly from his right ear. And I said, okay, uh, we'll pray. And as soon as we started praying, I prayed the first time and I started seeing that his facial reaction was changing. And so I asked the interpreter, uh, what's going on, you know? And she said, oh, he's so excited. He's starting to hear from his, uh, from his right ear a little bit. I said, praise God, let's pray again. So we prayed again and he started to hear 50% better from his right ear that, and he couldn't hear properly because of work, he said. So, Um, I feel that right now with, with God, truly all things are possible and um, I'm looking forward to what's ahead. Um, I don't know where to start, but I'll just make it really short and simple. I think I can speak on behalf of all of us when I say that I think for the first time when we sing about healing, we can actually believe it. <laughs> right? So <laughs> that's exciting. Um, I think the greatest miracle I saw was uh, we went to the hospital to evangelize and pray for the sick. And there were some people who were there for medicine or for painkillers and just left. They didn't need it. And there was one specific lady who couldn't move her arm or I think open her eyes. And just by us being there without even laying hands on her, she was able to open her eyes and move her arm. So I think that was amazing, just carrying the presence of God. And um, it was just a really good revelation to know that we all have the Holy Spirit in us and it's nothing magical that happens. You just find the opportunity and release it. Um, yeah, so if you're always going for prayer, that's great. But if you're not releasing what's inside of you, it's kind of pointless. So I just want to encourage you to go out and just do the works of God. I agree with Natalie when she said that the Holy Spirit is in all of us, and that's something I had trouble believing. I thought you had to be a special someone to be able to do special things, like healing or prophesying or whatever. So what I definitely learned personally was everybody can do anything at any place at any time. And that actually did amaze me. Like Even after the trip, when I just pray like one-on-one with God, I feel so much power just 
all around me. I just feel him now and it's just amazing. And what we saw in Brazil was definitely unforgettable. <laughs> Um, God was so good with us in Brazil. Um, they spoke about a lot of healings, but to me personally, I feel like um, through whatever God did through us, we just uh, we showed the people in Brazil the heart of the Father, that we were just compassionate. And I feel like God, especially in me, and I feel like in all of us, that He really showed us His love for the people that through healing, through prophesying over people, through just meeting them and loving them, is just... Um, he showed me especially more about his love for the people and I, I, we're all praying that we could bring that here to Toronto, that we want to spread that love, that healing is not just going to some uh, random person and be like, oh, can I pray for you? It's just me trying to show that person the love of the Father. So. We, we saw crazy stuff, crazy healings. Um, we had a lot me and Kareem, we had a lot of people came with uh, lungs issues and uh, a lot of other stuff. Uh, almost everyone got healed, to be honest, but some people didn't. So it's not like we're every time gets healed. It's just God was telling us that it's simple. We don't have to stress about it. We don't have to think about it. You just have to be obedient. So if I would say anything, just be obedient to the voice of God and just go out and pray. And that's it. It was honestly life-changing, and um, till today I feel like God is still working in me, like I'm seeing revelations in my heart. And honestly, it's not as complicated as we think. I think we overthink things, so, yeah. In Arabi or in English? Arabi? Okay, I'll try in Arabi. So, the best thing I got... أحلى معجزة شفتها في رأيي كانت واحدة واحدة جات لي كان عندها أرثرايدس في في إيدها وفي كوعها ولما جيت أصلي لها قلت يعني أرثرايدس جو أوي وكذا and then it went away in her hand and then she got so excited she left so هي قالت هي قالت إن كان لسه في وجع في باقي جسمها بس هي من كتر الفرحة راحت راحت نشيت <تصفيق> Best <laughs> glory be to God. So, <laughs> um, if there's anything that I would want to share with you guys, is God is not waiting for a pastor or a preacher or somebody who knows how to talk and lay hands. He just wants somebody who has an open heart because. Um, this is actually really funny. At one of the nights, I was so tired, and somebody came and asked me for a prayer. And I honestly laid my hands, and my prayer was in my head, like, Lord, I'm tired. I don't know what to say. Like, just please heal this person. And they started jumping, saying that their back pain was gone. Because God is not complicated, and his heart is just after his children. And I think that was the biggest thing for me. Like, we know God is real, and we know he's alive, but... We don't know how big his heart is. And I think that's what I discovered on this trip, that his heart is so big. And it's not just big because we went on a mission trip for two weeks. It's big because he is love. And that love is, is here in Toronto. And like, honestly, I just encourage you guys to go out and just lay hands on people, speak to people, love on people. It's not complicated. We didn't learn any anything special. It was just Talk to somebody, find out what's wrong, put your hand on them and pray, and he'll do his work because it's not about me or you. It's the simple fact that like he's God and the Holy Spirit is real and alive. And it's a fellowship that's available to anybody. Um, one really, really cool thing that I experienced was I had the opportunity to pray with somebody who had a breast tumor. And um, we prayed at first and nothing happened. She was very discouraged. So we prayed again and again, nothing happened. And I honestly took my hand off. I felt like God was just saying like, let me like, let me just do my thing. So I'm like, okay, I'll back off. Um, and we prayed and my hand was just like hovering over her chest and I could feel just like electricity flying out. And um, we finished praying and she's like, she was touching and she's like, it's gone. 
And I'm like, are you, are like, are you sure it's gone? Like, can you check again? And she checked again and she's like, it's gone. I'm like, okay, like just one more time to be sure. And it was gone. She had had this tumor for two years and like the Lord took it away because that's just who God is. So, <laughs> so I honestly just encourage you guys like jump out of the boat. Like it's great to be comfortable where you are and like, it's nice to be in our little bubbles, but if we don't step out, we're not gonna see greater things. And like, I want you guys to see greater things because there's so much out there that we haven't tapped into. That's it. Yeah, that was one of my biggest takeaways too. It's just that like God just wants to use us. He just, he just wants you to stand there and do this and he's going to do his work. So he just wants you to be open to him and be hungry for him and just go out so you can like spread his work and spread his love. And I think um, one testimony I have, we did like all these physical healings, but with the physical healings came so many like um, like uh, emotional healings as well too. I was praying for one guy, he had back pain and knee pain from uh, his job and I was praying for him and I just sensed that God was saying like, tell him like his job is worthy and I, like I, what he's doing is right and like it's like, like everything he's doing is like good with me. So I was telling him and I was just declaring, I'm like, everything you're doing, the job that you're doing, like, don't be ashamed. There's no reason to be afraid. And then we stopped praying and every pain was gone. All his back pain, all his knee pain. He was so excited. He was like pictures, pictures. He wanted to take pictures with me. He, it was amazing. So through the, I was physical, like through the physical healing, I like God led me to heal more in him, which was amazing. So just again, God just wants to use you. So just go out and lay your hands and he'll do the rest. Um, so one of the nights we were at the church is, um, it was laying of the hand session and a woman came to me and said that she had fallen four months before and she hit her chin pretty hard and the result of that was the right side of her jaw somehow shifted forward and you can see that the jaw was out of place and you can like see the bone sticking out and she said she had pain and it was like pretty nasty. But um, so I told her, okay, first I'm gonna pray for the pain and then I'm gonna somehow pray for the bone to go back. So I prayed for the pain and the pain left. And then um, as I was going to begin to pray for the bone, I called Ramiz and Marlena over to pray with me. And um, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying. And out loud I'm saying, God, you come and touch her chin. I know you can do this. But in my head, I'm like, God, what am I doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> this woman's jaw is out of place. She needs surgery next week. I don't know how this is gonna happen. So um, as they were praying and I'm just questioning, um, Marlena's hand was on her chin. She said that when she was praying, she felt the jaw move, as in like backwards, not up and down. So um, we stopped praying and the woman, she starts crying and saying, it's gone, it's gone. And Marlena also started crying saying, it's gone. But I didn't believe them. <laughs> so I touched her chin <laughs> and it was gone, like the bone was in place. <laughs> that just shows how much God can do whether you believe it or not. Like, he's just so good. Hallelujah. Well, Mike Dan Yeshua, Rabbi Azim Giddan. Actually, I have one testimony to tell you guys. Uh, I'm going to say it in English so they can all understand. What happened is that on Friday night, we had the youth meeting, and they came up and they shared. Uh, they shared uh, more or less what they shared tonight. And one of the youth was there, and uh, uh, this person went back home after midnight and she closed the door on herself. You know, God, I don't know what you did with them, but what you did with them, you have to do it with me. And you have to fill me with the Holy Spirit right now. Uh, she texted me actually at uh, 2 a.m. in the morning because of what happened. She got filled with the Holy Spirit half an hour under the power of, uh, of God in her own room by herself on the floor. She came up 
and she remembered that her mom has a pain for a few months and nothing is working with the doctors with everything so she went and she laid her hand on her and she got healed totally from all the pain that had just by sharing this <laughs> hallelujah Magdan Yasua. So it's contagious. والسبب اللي انا اللي خليتهم انهم يشاركوا كده عشان الناس دي بسيطه ما عندهمش خمس رجلين او كده و something nice سمعناها من ريما كده انه it's not about a pastor او خادم معين no it's هذه الايات تتبع المؤمنين يضعون ايديهم على المرضى فيبرؤون الرب عايز يستخدم he wants to use everyone of us باسم يسوع. مجدا ليسوع آه. حاجه حاجه اخيره ليه كنت بقول انه آه انه اللي حصل معاهم ده وات هابند وذ ذيم ات سورت اوف فولفيلمنت اوف ذا بروميس فور ذيس يير انه سوف ترى اعظم من ذلك يو شال سي جريتر ثينكس تقريبا احنا من خلال سنه ونص اللي فاتت الرب تقريبا في حدود يمكن 255 شفاءات شفناها في الكنيسه او من خلال الكنيسه او حاجه زي كده. هم في العشر ايام دول رايحين مش ما ما بيتعلموا ولسه حاجه جديده ومفتوحين للروح القدس في العشر ايام دول الرب استخدمهم في 325 37 هيلينج سوف ترى اعظم من هذا اللي شفناه في سنه ونص هم شافوه في 10 ايام. ده مش بيقول لي حاجة عليهم لأنه المواهب ديت اللي كانت حتى أهل كرونسوس كان فيها حتى الأطفال كان عندهم مشاكل وعيوب دول مش ناس كاملة اللي واقفين قدامكم أو أو الشهادات اللي بنستخ... الرب بيرسلها وبنسمعها مش لأنه ناس كاملة أو كأنه خلاص دول بقوا هولي بيبل لا ده بنشوف إنه المواهب هي حتى للأطفال والرب عايز يشجعنا وعايز يستخدم كل واحد فينا وسوف نرى أعظم من هذا أول لما جالي التكست مسج الكمية الشفاهات كل أنا افتكرت أول يوم أو يومين ويمكن شاركت حضراتكم بيها قبل كده فقلت كويس إنهم اتشجعوا كده وخلاص لكن كل كل ليلة كان يجي لي كل ليلة كان يجي لي إزاي إنه بيقولوا لي ده حصل كذا وده حصل كذا وعدد كذا لغاية لما وصل 337 شفاء الرب استخدمه في العشر أيام ناس أدت نفسها للرب الرب عايز يقول لنا حاجه ان انا عايز اعمل في وسطيكم امور عظيمه جدا باسم الرب يسوع ايه رايكم ندي المجد ليسوع هللويا جلوري تو جاد مجدا ليك يا رب مجدا ليك يا رب <تصفيق>